While much of the world is focused on which nuclear conflict will destroy it, back here in the U.S., the president's cabinet is forging ahead. Just look at Betsy DeVos, secretary of education and the stepmom who definitely killed the original mom. <laughs> DeVos has been criticized for not doing more to support struggling schools. The good news is she's finally stepping up to provide some help. The bad news is it's to the wrong schools. The Education Department is unwinding the unit investigating fraud at for-profit colleges. Members of that team have reportedly been marginalized or reassigned. It has effectively killed investigations into possible fraudulent activities at several large for-profit colleges. These are schools that allegedly were misrepresenting their enrollment benefits, job placement rates, and program offerings, often leaving students with big debts and no degrees. So Betsy DeVos is stopping the people who are stopping the fraud. She's like a reverse superhero, you know? <laughs> Flies into a bank robbery to help the robbers. <laughs> Stop right there, thieves! You need to turn it this way to open the vaults. <laughs> there you go, and kill that woman with the baby. She saw your faces. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with for-profit colleges, they're the shady schools whose ads you probably know from TV. I love learning new things in my pajamas, <laughs> and I'm not the only one. Every day, thousands of people go to college online in their pajamas and never leave home. I say ICDC. I'm so ICDC. College. College. Hi, I'm Percy Miller, also known as Master P. The key to success starts with getting a solid education. I set goals, built my empire, enjoyed success, and lived a life I wanted because I made education a top priority. Ah, uh, yes, nothing says education like not being able to pronounce the word success. <laughs> How are you ignoring the C in success when you're standing right on top of it? <laughs> but despite what Master P says, many of these for-profit schools are allegedly scams. You see, they put students into deep debt, right, without teaching them useful skills, or training them for good jobs. And thanks to government investigations, we've learned just how false their advertising actually is. The Federal Trade Commission says DeVry University deceived students about their chances of getting a job and increasing their income after graduation. The Education Management Corporation claims job success for this fashion marketing grad, this accounting major, and this business grad. EDMC's own documents show this one is actually working for minimum wage selling shoes. One works at McDonald's, the other a janitor. Now, that's not right. An accounting major working as a McDonald's cashier. That's not right. He's stealing jobs from English majors. <laughs> And look, don't get me wrong, there's no shame in being a McDonald's cashier. I just think if you go $100,000 in debt, you want a job that offers you a greater level of financial success. Now, <laughs> the Obama administration cracked down on for-profit schools for deceptive practices, right? It helped push some of them out of business and forced others like DeVry University to pay more than $100 million in settlements. But now, under Betsy DeVos, the education department is shutting these investigations down, which makes sense when you learn who she put in charge of them. The team of investigators, believe it or not, is led by a former dean at DeVry University, one of the schools under investigation. By last summer, Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos had installed Julian Schmoke, who is a former dean at DeVry University, to head the unit. That's right. DeVos appointed a former dean from one of the schools accused of fraud to head the unit investigating the schools for fraud. Yeah. Now, I wish DeVos was doing that thing where you hire the criminals to catch the other criminals, you know? <laughs> like on that Fedora Crime Man TV show. But this feels more like Swampanomics 101, especially considering that Betsy DeVos has major financial interests in for-profit colleges. So under Betsy DeVos, fraudulent for-profit schools look poised to make a comeback, which is why we at The Daily Show got Roy Wood Jr. to make their ads a little more accurate. What's up? It's your boy Roy Wood Jr., also known as Round the Way Roy. Are you looking to spend $100,000 you don't have to get a degree that won't help you find a job? Then you gotta go to DeVroy University. We train you for all kinds of great jobs that might not exist, like forensic mechanic, marketing hygienist, or packing. And the best part is, we'll let you take your classes in your own bed. No real college does that. I thought you were going to class. I am in class. Call DeVroy College and destroy your credit rating today. Thanks, Betsy. 
Now that's what I call success.